used to the hop and swing of his crutches, the pressure under his armpits, and the jerking motion of his injured foot. Everyone, Everyone was acting as, as if this was a normal welcome home ceremony. ceremony. Lifting her right hand from the steering wheel and placing it on Kit's elbow. A pat, really. That touch was all that he needed. Kit took a deep breath and knew just being with Helena again meant he was home. The sun in Iraq rose at 3.30 a.m. That spiteful light would burst into the tent every time the door opened like a nuclear camera flash that singed the retinas of all the soldiers tossing in their cots. There's someone else, Ray. She moved her hand to touch his wrist. But he quickly lifted his own coffee cup out of reach. The black liquid scalding the inside of his mouth. There's no one, she whispered. DuPont toasted. <laughs> and the guy swallowed the tequila and slammed the glasses oh. on the bar. He felt himself pitching forward, and if he had been sober, he would have tried to tuck and roll like he learned in airborne school, but instead he landed hard. <laughs> she hesitated in front of the mirror over the bureau. Grief had disfigured her. The sound of his boots slipping off his feet and hitting the floor. The feel of his fingertips on her back. She was losing him all over again. You don't know me, but I was hoping that I could come and see you sometime. If that's convenient with you. It's just a... Uh... You see, I knew your husband. Sergeant Schaefer was the best non-commissioned officer I ever met. Kit said softly, Here. For the five Here. years they've been together, she had used that argument against him. Knowing eventually Eddie would want a kid more than he'd want the army. He would get out. And she would win. And then... <laughs> 